In this one, we're going to learn how to use regular expressions in Python. On my screen here, I have two strings. One is a load of fictional log entries that we'll use throughout this exercise. And the second is a regular expression pattern that we're going to use to search those logs. Note that this video is not a guide to how to write regex. I have a previous video on that, link in the description. Okay, let's get straight to it. To use regular expressions in Python, we need to import the regular expression module, which is import re. This is part of the standard library, so you do not need to install it. Now, there are several ways of using re. The first is just to use re dot, and let's use something like search, and we're going to search for our pattern text, and we're going to search for that regular expression in log data. And if we assign this to a variable called match, and let's just print match. And here you'll see you've got a re dot match object, and there's a span and what it matched. Now this is a string representation of match. We'll actually get into the object and what things that can do for you in a little moment. There's another way of using regular expressions, and that is to compile your search string. And for that, we do re.compile and then the pattern. And let's call that pattern. Now what this does is it compiles it for later use. It can be more efficient, not necessarily in Python, because Python does cache these anyway, but best practices is to compile your regular expression before use. Now this would change the syntax of this line a little bit in that we replace re with pattern. And then we don't need to specify our pattern text anymore because the object already contains our regular expression. And if we print that, we get exactly the same result. I tend to prefer this method. All of the functions I'm going to show you throughout this video use either of these patterns, either call re dot something and pass in your search pattern and your log data, otherwise re.compile and then use the compiled version. For the rest of the video, I will be using the compiled version. A couple of things about matches. We can ask a match what its span is, and if we print that, you'll get a tuple containing 98137. That's quite useful because we can actually do print our log data, and let's slice it on 98 and 137, and we get the actual string. So that is the start and end location of the string. Now, the other thing that this match has is a load of groups. So if we do print match dot group, and let's pass in a zero, that will print the actual string we're looking for, because that's the zero group. We can also look for group one, which will give us the IP address. Group two will give us a fraction of the IP address. Group three will give us what the HTTP operation is, so it's a put. Four will give us the username, and then five will give us the log entry. Now we can actually iterate through those as well. Let's do for item in match.groups print item and you'll see each of those gets printed out we can also print match.string and what this will do is print the string that it's actually designed to search let's go back to printing match so you'll see when we print this it's only giving back one match object and that links to the last one so there's a couple of things here by default regular expressions in python use string level searching so if you want to look at each line individually then we have to change our compile a little bit so if we go to flags and we're going to set re.multiline, re.m also would work. And what this does is it switches it to multi-line mode. So this now, every line break will set a new entry potentially. And when we run this, you'll see now instead of getting the last one, which was matched by this end of string, we now get this for the end of line, which is our first log entry. Now, as I mentioned, search only finds the first entry that it finds. If you want to find the next one, then we can take the span value from the previous one and search from there. And how, how we do that is passing in a position parameter. And I'm going to set this to 36. And if we run that, we will now get the second log entry from the file, change this to 79, which will be the start of the next one. And we get the last one. Note that this regular expression will not match log entry deleted. So this one never shows up. Okay, so search is a way of going through and finding things that we want to find which is kind of cumbersome because you have to keep finding the position and going to the next one. There is another way of finding things, which is pattern.findall. This doesn't take a position. And if we print match here, you'll see we get a list of tuples. So let's change this a little bit for match in matches, print match. And you'll see we have a tuple for each item. Now, I don't particularly like this because it doesn't give you a match object. It just gives you your groups. And it doesn't give you the actual find string. To do that, we would have to change this pattern up here to wrap the whole thing in a group. So if we now run that again, 
you'll see now we have our full string. So if all you want is the actual match and the groups, this is perfect because it finds them all, you can loop through them. If you want to do something more advanced, then we can use something called an iter. And the way we do that is pattern.finditer. And then for matches in matches print match, we'll give you a little bit different. It will actually give you a match object that we saw in the first example for all of them. So then we can shoot through our string and maybe just print all of the spans. And we can also do for group in match print group. We need to do dot groups. And you'll see that it's printed each one. Let's actually just print a load of dashes to separate them out. And you'll see there each of our log entries is now split across what you want. Now, if we take out the master group I put in earlier, you'll see that it no longer gives us the actual group name. And that is because group zero is a special one, which doesn't come up in groups. So to find group zero and print it, we have to print the actual one. So we would do print match.group0. And there we get our log entry. I do tend to use find iter when I'm searching for regular expressions. I just like using match objects. They give you a lot more power than the find all version. And it's a lot more effective than search where you have to manually control the looping yourself using the spans. So in this one, we've talked about how to find regular expressions within Python, and we search through a mythical log file in order to do it. In the next video, I'll be explaining the use of if name equals main. So if you're not aware of how that works, then check that out next. You'll find the video top left. And with that, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one.